It's always hard to tell when a highly talented college player will translate to immense success in the NBA. It truly is a gamble, kind of like eating day-old gas station sushi. Take a look at Kyrie Irving. He only played 11 games at Duke. There were many question marks surrounding him, on top of being plagued with injuries, but some people just knew he was going to be a big talent. On the other end of the coin, when Jay Williams came out on draft night, with his white-on-white -white suit ensemble, the Chicago Bulls didn't expect his career to never lift off. Or Adam Morrison, who on draft night looked like a rock star confused as to how he should wear and look in a suit, was another in a long list of ballers who were amazing collegiate stars, catapulted their fame while playing above and beyond in the NCAA tournament, who only ended up being really big disappointments right after they were drafted. Will James Wiseman fall under the Kyrie mantle? Or will he be another guy with a lot of potential and major buzz only to disappoint? If you enjoy the rest of the video, then please don't forget to share it with your friends and family so that others can learn just how hard it is going to be for NBA centers to guard James Wiseman once he makes the NBA. Let's jump back into the video. James Wiseman is a center who played with the Memphis Tigers. He is only a freshman and has the body of a grown NBA star. He is a staggering 7 foot 1 inch, 245 pound young man who is projected to be a top 5 lottery pick in this year's NBA draft lottery. Surprisingly, to the average fan, Wiseman still remains a likely top 5 pick, despite a general lack of enthusiasm surrounding him after playing just three games at Memphis. Now, this doesn't always scream to avoid a player, but it also doesn't come without its risks. In his three games with Memphis, he was decent, but not mind-blowing enough to be pushed to the top of an NBA draft board. Also, it's hard to know how seriously to take tiny sample sizes, particularly with young freshmen who are still getting acclimated to their surroundings. Also, the center position isn't what it used to be in the NBA. Unless you have a specific set of specialized skills, you will not be able to survive in the modern-day NBA. Only a handful of older centers can probably survive in today's diverse league just because of their strength and dominance, but that's a topic for another day. Because of what the center position has evolved to, it also raises legitimate questions about how high Wiseman should actually be drafted. However, seven-footers with his body type just don't grow on trees. Otherwise, every team would have one. Plus, his dominant size makes him, potentially, into a defensive juggernaut around the basket and should make him impactful hitting the boards and as a finisher. To give a little more perspective, an unknown talent with this skill set and size is Kristaps Porzingis. Like any young, raw talent, James will have to continue making progress as an all-around offensive player, particularly the development of his jumper, because again, no matter what you play or size, you need to have an effective outside shot to keep the defense honest, to maximize his talent. This year's draft is different. It will come at a different time, in the middle of a pandemic. Without the finish of the NCAA season, leaving many seniors not being able to live out their final days as a collegiate athlete. With this being the reality, the fact this draft is shallow, up and down, has helped Wiseman's stranglehold near the top to be a bit of luck. But where he's actually drafted will depend more on what particular team's system he fits into better, and also the team's mentality and roles, than his athletic ability. He may be a plug-in starter for some squads, like Golden State, but on the other hand, he may be a productive role player as opposed to a franchise-altering stud. Other teams, such as Detroit, where he will struggle with wins and losses initially, may also be another good fit for him as they no longer have Andre Drummond, and without a superstar, Blake Griffin is a star, not superstar, he has the chance to really make a big name for himself. I usually question everything in life, and quite skeptical, but I like Wiseman's chances in the NBA, especially with the right team. He stands over 7 feet and has the perfect physique for the modern NBA big man. He has shown flashes of an expanded jump shot. He's also a fairly mobile athlete. If I were a team who was in need of an athletic big man who can spread the floor and rebound, I'd draft him. However, the NBA is all about fit. Look at the San Antonio Spurs, for example. They never have big-name players, except Tim Duncan coming out of college. Yet they find a way to utilize the players' talents to suit themselves and the team. See, the fun guy, Kawhi Leonard, to their maximum potential. And with that being said, I think he can turn into a stud with the right organization. He might not be the number one option on a playoff contender, 
But as an ultra-talented role man and athletic driver, there's a lot to love about Wiseman. Again, with the right team, and if he buys into the system, Wiseman could be a strong addition for any team to build from the ground up. So, is James Wiseman going to be impossible to guard in the NBA? Well, we know how Wiseman only played three games in college, so there isn't a lot of tape on him. But he has the intangibles along with his monstrous physique of wide shoulders, Inspector Gadget-type arms, developing strength, and finishing ability. Honestly, if you look throughout the history of teams looking for a great center, teams would have only dreamed about finding a 7-footer with this kind of physical profile. Remember how Shaq turned out? He could be the next, more evolved Shaq. Betting on speculation isn't always a bad thing. Look at Michael Porter Jr., who barely played a handful of games in college because he was riddled with big injuries, just like Wiseman. He has turned out to be an amazing addition to an already deep Denver squad. Wiseman remains a great prospect, and yes, quite simply, he will be very hard to stop in the National Basketball Association.